Hi there, today we talk about the causes and the consequences of natural disasters. Всем добрый день. Сегодня мы поговорим про причины и последствия стихийных бедствий. First of all, our learning objectives. So today we use speaking and listening skills to solve problems creatively and cooperatively in a groups. The second one, understand specific information in unsupported extent and talk on a wide range of general and critical topics, and also including talk on a limited range of unfamiliar topics. Today at the lesson, we are going to define topic vocabulary, describe natural disasters, find out information from internet, and also we have to analyze information from the text. And the last one, listen to the report and answer the questions. So, let's start our lesson with the video about natural disasters. Your task, you have to watch the video and list natural disasters. And also, you have to guess what is the topic of this lesson. And each correct answer, you can get one point.
So good job, students. I think you can do this task. So I want to ask you, do you know what the word disaster means and what is its origin? Okay, so your task, you have to follow the internet link and find out the origin of this word disaster. And students who complete this task first can get one point. So let's start. So next task, look at the picture and you have to say what each one shows. Okay, good for you. Next task, task four, mark the words with their meaning and pictures. So here you have uh, some pictures and you have to match the names of the disasters to the pictures. Okay, good job. Next one, reading task. So this task, you have to read the text and write out the name of disasters. Yeah, good for you. So next task, task six. Yo, here you have to read the text again and fill in the table. For example, so here, tsunami. It's the earthquakes under the water and underwater volcanic eruption. So it's like that. So next task task seven so here you have a three question and you have to answer all of these questions so the first one describe the historical background of natural disasters the second one describes causes of natural disasters and the third one introduces the topic and each correct answer you can get one point So next task, writing and speaking task. So here, first of all, you have to divide two subgroups. Next, you have to create and present mind map about natural disasters. For this, you should use topic related vocabulary and use Google diagram. So for this, you have to follow the link. So here, Google.it and next, you can do like this, so here. So you have to open this side and here you can write maybe, I don't know, natural disasters and you can write here and maybe some type of natural disasters, it's like that. So good for you. I hope you have completed this task. So next task, listening. So here you have four words and you have to reorder the letters to find these natural disasters. And also I want to ask you, what do you know about each one? And what do you think, what is this? So next task, so here you have to divide two groups again and each group you have to will hear about hurricanes and write down four words you think you will hear. Water in rivers, lakes, or the ocean rises above its normal level and goes on to the land. 
Why do they happen? If there is a lot of rain or very strong winds, floods can happen. Where do they happen? Some rivers in Bangladesh and India flood every year. People expect it, so there is no panic. When the floods go down, there are lots of minerals in the soil. They can grow good plants. How do they affect people? When the floods are a surprise, many people can drown. Every year, people lose their houses and their furniture. When floods happen every year, some people are ready for them, but many people and governments do not prepare properly. What can people do? Dams can reduce floods, but some dams can cause them. There are often flood warnings on the radio. So now you have to listen again this audio and answer the question. above its normal level and goes on to the land. Why do they happen? If there is a lot of rain or very strong winds, floods can happen. Where do they happen? Some rivers in Bangladesh and India flood every year. People expect it, so there is no panic. When the floods go down, there are lots of minerals in the soil. They can grow good plants. How do they affect people? When the floods are a surprise, many people can drown. Every year, people lose their houses and their furniture. When floods happen every year, some people are ready for them. But many people and governments do not prepare properly. What can people do? Dams can reduce floods, but some dams can cause them. There are often flood warnings on the radio. So, good job, students. I hope you can do this listening task. So, next task, here you have some words and then you have to find the correct definition. So, for example, the word drown. So it's uh, go underwater and uh, die. So it's like that. So reflection, it's our last task, is a conclusion of our lesson. So here you have to fill the semantic map. So what do you knew for you? What have you learned today? And what will you want to know uh, in future? And also, now we let scoring the points of our lesson. So, your home task, you have to prepare the presentation about natural disaster in Kazakhstan and also the what the video and the right does and don'ts rules of conduct during own earthquake. So, thank you for your attention. I think this video can help you in the future. Goodbye.